Hello and welcome to another Kerbal Space Exploration episode. And in this episode, the Kerbals are really getting a move on, trying to establish a Keythane base somewhere in the system. And if you saw in the background, you could see some lights, and that was our testing of the Keythane base or Keythane rig with fuel tanks living and everything there. I'll go through that in a later episode once I think I'm happy with how the station looks. But right now, the um, we are sending a Keythane rover to Minmus, or we're not sending it to Minmus, we're sending it to the space train, which we, um, in the last episode, connected a couple of fuel tanks, a control unit, and a small tug. So, yeah, this um, rover is uh, nicely... Um, disguised inside my fairings and in this landing stage and uh, hopefully it will work once we get it to Minmus but uh, yeah we are now going to dock with the space train which is getting a bit long so hopefully it will be able to pull everything to Minmus but I think those four nuclear engines will give <coughs> more than enough thrust to get us there so yeah, the fuel tanks on um, the train aren't completely empty just because I don't know how um, how much fuel the uh, train needs to get to Minmus. So just to be on the safe side, we have half of the tha tank uh, with fuel left. So yeah, uh, just normal docking here goes pretty pretty well. Uh, had a small difficulty at launch but it worked fine. And here is the space train ready for Minus with the control unit, two fuel tanks, and the tug and our rover, which we will put down on Minmus to see if we can find a suitable place for a base. So hopefully we can find somewhere flat. Uh, I was hoping somewhere by the lakes of Minmus because Minmus isn't really flat. So um, hopefully we'll find somewhere we can build our base and start uh, digging for Keythane. And as I said in uh, earlier episodes, sometimes now, if this doesn't work, if Minmus doesn't work, uh, I already had planned to go to the moon, so I have a landing spot for the moon and everything worked out, but I decided at the last moment I really wanted to go to Minmus and see. So the only thing we will have to do if we want to move our base to the moon later is to connect it to Zeus station and fly it down to the moon. Now, if we'll have to do that, that will be a pretty magnificent sight, I think, seeing the whole space station flying back. But, fingers crossed for uh, Minmus, I think it would be really cool to have a station at Minmus. So, yeah, the space train uh, getting aligned and uh, preparing for our burn to Minmus. And I think in, uh, maybe not in an episode, between episodes, I'll just align the space station Kronos with uh, Minmus. So we have the alignment so we can go for um, Minmus straight at once because now we are on an equatorial uh, inclination or zero inclination. And that makes uh, it a little bit more difficult to get to Minmus because we always have to do the uh, inclination changes but if we get everything set up to align it might be a bit easier I'll have to think about it but yes the space train is now going to Minmus and we will leave it there while we start our changing of the crew the Kronos crew has been there for quite a while now so we're sending up a new dragon capsule to pick him up and the new dragon capsule update looks magnificent with the solar panels and everything and the co um, the protective covers and everything and I probably said this a hundred times but I really really like this dragon capsule it looks absolutely magnificent so yeah this is a normal launch with the dragon capsule flying up and luckily that uh, top cover didn't hit us that was a little little too close for my comfort, but still it was Kerbal safe, the safe uh, 
safety limit of Kerbals are well, well, it was well within Kerbal safety limits. I don't know what the Kerbal safety limits are, but I think it's about like one centimeters or something. They are really tough guys with, uh, yeah, <laughs> not that much uh, interest in safety. So detaching the launch stage and just deorbiting it, seeing it flying past here. And deploying the solar panels on the Dragon Capsule and getting closer to Kronos. So one thing I haven't had the time to do with the Dragon Capsule is change how much fuel it has because it has a 2000 monopropellant which it also uses for fuel. And I think it's a bit uh, too much. It's more than it uh, needs. I think we'll put it down to like 500 or 700. Uh, I'll just have to do a test run to see how much fuel I actually use. I probably can check how much I used after this mission, if I remember. So approaching the station and being very careful since we're docking between the solar panels, but it worked fine. And it will be a small Kerbal switcheroo here because we are getting the old Kerbals into the one of the Dragon Capsules which has been detached for quite a while uh, and we will have get the other ones inside. Now when we changed all, all the parts on um, Chrono Station I forgot to include um, the crew, crew list uh, mod which made it possible just to get the Kerbals to go from one capsule to another. And uh, you see, as you can see, I forgot to put advanced SAS on, so I'm just doing some alignment to get it back into its stationary orbit or its uh, position. So locking it in with the SAS and keep changing the Kerbals. Now there is uh, eight Kerbals on the space station and we're sending... No, there's seven Kerbals on the space station, but we're sending six of them home. Uh, one I actually renamed Wearing Storm, so I'm on the space station, yay, I'm going home uh, to Kerbal, Kerbal. And after we detached the Dragon Capsule, just um, to get it to get some distance from the space station while we do all these uh, moving Kerbals back and forth from the other, we have the new crew and they are ready to get... Uh, the last part which will finish Kronos off in the end of this episode. But uh, yeah, we will have now 8 Kerbals on the station and uh, we will, once we get the base built up on um, Minmus, this station will work as a bus station most of the time, but it's also in the Kerbals view a research station. So uh, for now it will will probably be a little while before we use the station for anything particular. We might have to change the crew on uh, Minmus soon because they are be they have been there for quite a while too. But looking at the station disappearing, it's it's looking very good, good now. So, we'll be good to get the last part and the station ready for 100% activity. Being a refueling station and uh, transport station before we go uh, to Minmus or other planets we decide to go to. So I'm thinking in uh, s episodes very soon we will start uh, sending probes to new bodies to find new places to make a base because this is what everything has been about so far is making it possible to launch and refuel things in orbit so that we can go into deep space with plenty of fuel and a lot of equipment. So the Keythane base will on Minmus will be a testing to see if we can transport such big and heavy loads in great distances because it would be nice to push put the whole station at its destination at once. So here is Bob back on Kerbin and he is so happy he starts running around and celebrating and he does a celebrated jump 
but in his spacesuit he keeps falling over. So yeah, a little bit embarrassed, he races up and is happy to be home. Now this is quite a heavy load, it's a fuel tank with two RCS. Uh, and uh, the launch stage is pretty powerful as you can see with plenty of fuel but I emptied out the um, fuel tank on the top almost uh, it has just uh, one fourth of the fuel left uh, so it wouldn't be that heavy to put into orbit but yes this is the last part to the chrono station and after a small accident with hitting myself with the probe part Everything went really nice from here. Um, you will see some small, uh, small jumps maybe between uh, some clips because I was on Skype with someone at the same time and uh, I forgot to pause the game or I had to quick save the game and do some schoolwork and then get back to flying a couple of times. But after that, it it was a normal perfect docking and. Uh, it is a pretty, even though the fuel tank is almost out and it's just the RCS, it's pretty heavy. But you can see I'm not saving on the RCS, I'm just, we have these two fuel tanks and we are going to refuel them as soon as possible. So yeah, flying back, um, getting the direction right, trying to push our heading closer to the station because we kept drifting to the side a little bit. Uh, yeah, so now we're getting really close to Kronos, and uh, I had a little orientation uh, difficulty at the um, start, but I found out what was what, and trying to push the fuel tank underneath the space station, and just burning up all that precious RCS, since it's no precious anymore, or with this spacecraft. So, it's uh, going to dock in the middle, underneath the station, and when we dock things to the docking array, we will be able to refuel from this fuel tank. I was uh, originally thinking of having a couple of fuel tanks, but seeing how the lag, uh, or how quickly we get affected by lag with all these parts, I decided to go with one big solid tank instead. So... Uh, talking in the dark <laughs> is starting to get a little bit more difficult than it was earlier. So, but we managed to find it uh, after trying to go onto the station and turning on some lights. But I still haven't included those lights. Keep forgetting them. But luckily, sunlight came right at the perfect moment, and we got a beautiful docking with seeing all the solar panels turned and everything. Even though I got a little distracted and have had to go back and do some, do the entry one more time to get it perfectly. But there we go. That magnificent magnetic power from the docking ports. They are really some powerful docking ports. So yeah, that has been it for this episode. Chrono Station is now finished. And in the next episode, we'll probably finishing. Uh, be finishing off uh, Zeus station and starting to find a place for our Keythane station. So, or base, I mean, sorry. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, please leave a comment in the comment section and like and subscribe to the movie. Boring Storm, signing off.